Hello once again and welcome back to another episode of Biology and today we are looking at the structure of Spirogyra. Spirogyra. If we call it Spiro, Spiro. Alright, so of course, uh, you know that this tutorial is brought to you by the one and only O3 School Jump app. Alright, please like this video, make sure you like this video, make sure you subscribe to this what, YouTube channel because as you can see, this is O3 Schools 1. Alright, we have, we have O3 Schools. Alright, that one has a lot of the episodes. Okay, this is a continuation. This is another channel, a continuation of what of those series. We, have, we had a little trouble with the other accounts, so that's why we have this account now. Alright, please like this video, subscribe to this channel, this particular one also, subscribe to it. Alright, that one is also very, very it's still used, very useful. It has a lot of episodes on it. Also, we are going to continue on this particular O3 schools one. All right, so please make sure you what you like and make sure you share. All right, so I could say, let's quickly see a question from uh, the O3 school jump up concerning the Spirogyra. They say the type of nutrition shown by Spirogyra is A, they say symbiosis, B, they say holozoic, C, they say chemosynthetic, D, they say holophytic. By the way, this is a 2019 question number five. 2019 question number five, the type of nutrition shown by Spirogyra, of course. So we're going to we'll come back to the question at the end of the class. So please stay put and, of course, relax and enjoy yourself. All right, so uh, now, structure of Spirogyra. This is the structure of Spirogyra, you can see. All right, it has the mucilage. Okay, the mucilage that, pro that protects it from pathogens, okay, and animals. Mucilage that acts as a lubricant, okay, and the mucilage, all right, that of course helps to what, hold the filaments together. You know, the, the spirogyra exists well, as a filament. It's filamentous. It is multicellular, all right? So, of course, it has the paranoid also that helps to store starch. Okay, I can see it has the chloroplast, meaning that's what it is photosynthetic. That means it can manufacture its own food. That means it's autotrophic. All right. Then of course, there's the cytoplasmic thread. Then we have the nucleus. We have the cell wall. All right. Then we have the cytoplasm. All right. So now let us talk about the spirogyra. Okay. So let me be seeing the structure, and then of course we'll be putting all the vital points on the board. All right. So now, uh, the the the, the spirogyra is a common filamentous algae. It's a common filamentous algae. It's filamentous. It's filamentous. Filamentous. It's a common filamentous what? Algae. Okay? That is found in slow flowing, slow flowing, slow flowing, slow flowing fresh water streams. Okay? That is found in slow flowing fresh water streams. Okay? So that is the word, the, the spirogyra. It's a what? It's a filamentous algae. It's a common filamentous algae that is found in slow flowing or slow fresh flowing water streams. Okay? And of course, each uh, spirogyra is cylindrical in shape. It's cylindrical. Cylindrical in shape. Cylindrical in shape. Each spirogyra is what? It's cylindrical in shape. It has what? A cell wall. Of course, you can see the cell wall here. It has a cell wall that is what? Surrounded by what? By a mucilage. Okay? That is surrounded by a layer of mucilage. Okay? It has what? A cell wall that is surrounded by, by a layer of mucilage. What does the mucilage do? The mucilage helps to what? Help to protect the spirogyra from pathogens. From pathogens. Okay? Pathogens. Okay, also is to protect the what the uh uh the spirogyra from animals, all right, from animals from pathogens. Also, it serves as what as a lubricant, okay, it acts as what as a lubricant, and of course, it helps to hold the filaments, the filaments, the filamentous structure together, all right. So, that is the function of the mucilage in a what in a spirogyra. Please take note of that. So, we say it has a cell wall that is what surrounded by. My mucilage, sorry, excuse me, we protect it from, of course, from what? From pathogens, from animals, and of course, act as a lubricant and also what hold the filaments together. So, uh, within the uh, cytop cytoplasm, this is cytoplasm, within the cytoplasm, where there's a what? There's a spirally what bound what chloroplast. There is this what? A spirally bound chloroplast. You can see this is the chloroplast. Uh, spirally bound like this. Okay? The chloroplast. This is the chloroplast. All right. So within the word, the cytoplasm, within the cytoplasm, okay, it's a spirally shaped chloroplast. Okay, because it's what it has what, a chloroplast, it means that what that the spirogyra is what is photosynthetic. Is photosynthetic. All right. 
So because it has a chlorophyll, it means it's photosynthetic. It means it is what autotrophic. It means it can manufacture its own food. All right. It means that what it is holophytic. Okay. So I think we saw a question just now. You did not see autotrophic there. Mode of nutrition. All right. There's holophytic. Okay. So holophytic is a type of autotrophic nutrition. Okay, that in which what uh, organisms will manufacture their own food from what inorganic materials, all right, it's using what energy from the sun, all right. So that is also uh, a type of what autotrophic nutrition. Okay, so because it has chloroplast, it means that what it has chlorophyll, it can manufacture its own food, all right. Then, of course, uh, uh we have what uh, the nucleus here now. So, uh, what have we seen so far? We say it's a filamentous what. Uh, algae that has what uh, uh, that is that is found in slow flowing freshwater stream. Okay, it has of course the, the mucilage which I'm talking about. The paranoid is used for storing what starch for what for storing starch starch. The paranoid, of course, is used for what for storing what starch. Okay, now the cells in the filament are alike but independent, unlike in a colony. Okay, the cells in the filament are alike. The cells in the filament are alike, but a lot, of course, they are what independent. They are independent, independent, unlike those ones that are found in what in colony. All right. So of course, uh, it, rep it reproduces also. The spirogyra reproduces by means of fragmentation, by means of what fragmentation. Please take note of that. Okay, it reproduces what asexually by means of fragmentation okay and of course we have said that what the paranoid is what helps in the what in the storage of starch all right so that is all we need to really know about what the spirogyra and then of course uh uh, because of time, so that we will we'll not want to waste time talking about structure of all these organisms, let's just quickly throw some light about what the structure of the volvox v o volvox okay the cells of the volvox this volvox is being shown on your screen right now the cells of the volvox are separated from one another by mucilage they are separated by one uh, from one another the cells of what of the volvox are separated by one another by what by mucilage which also envelopes all the cells okay it envelopes all the cells we're talking about the volvox now we say the cells the cells are separated. The cells in the vulva are separated from one another by mucilage. M U C by mucilage. By mucilage. M U C I L A G E. Okay. L A G E. Sorry. Okay. The cells, you know what, in the vulva are separated from one another by what? By the mucilage, which also envelopes all the cells. Okay. And of course, each cell has a chloroplast in the vulva. Now, each cell has a chloroplast. Let me take this off. Each cell has a chloroplast with paranoid. As a chloroplast. Okay, each cell has what? A chloroplast with paranoid. With paranoid. Okay, so also have what? Eye spot. Right, also have contractile vacuum. Okay, and the likes. Okay, so uh, each uh, cell has a chloroplast, which works with paranoid. It has what? Uh, eye spot has what? Uh, two flagella also. Okay, it also has two flagella and what? And contractor vacuum and nucleus. Okay, it has what? Two flagella, two flagella. Contractor vacuum, it also has what? Nucleus. All right, so we say that what are the cells, the cells in what? In robots are separated from one another by, uh, separated from one another by what? By mucilage. Okay, and of course, this mucilage also envelopes what? The cell. And we say that what? Each cell has a chloroplast with paranoid. It has what? Eye spots. It has what? Uh, two flagella. It has what? The contractor vacuum. And what? And nucleus. All right, so that's just uh, uh, the simple word, uh, explanation for the volvox okay so we do not want to dwell too much on it let us quickly go to the other school past questions and uh other schools have and what and look at the past questions on that this topic now um this uh, biology 2019 number five uh which we started with off at the beginning say the type of nutrition shown by spirogyra a symbiosis b holozoic c chemosynthetic d holophytic and of course the correct answer like we said is what is holophytic okay holophytic is a type of autotrophic what nutrition all right whereby organisms will manufacture their food okay from what inorganic what materials all right using what the energy of the sun all right so now let's look at uh 2017 number 14 2017 number 14 it says which of these organisms is a producer it's a producer it's a producer 
producers are what are autotrophs and they manufacture their food. A, they say spirogeria, B, they say muco, C, they say rhizopods, D, they say fungus. Okay, and of course, the correct answer there is spirogeria. A, it's a producer, it's what it is a bit what autotrophic, what mode of food nutrition. All right, the other ones here, muco, rhizopods, fungus, all of them, they are all what. They are all decomposers, okay? They are decomposers, they are not producers, okay? We'll get to all those parts when we start talking about our nutrition, all right? So thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and make sure you, watch, you keep sharing. Uh, I'll see you in the next episode.